Hello fellow gun enthusiasts and aficionados. What we have here today is a really nice Colt Detective Special Dick Tracy gun. 38 special. Just like the K-frame Smith & Wesson. It's a little bit smaller than the K-frame, a little bit bigger than the J-frame. So it's the Goldilocks gun. Not too big, not too small. Just right. Colt. Gotta love it. It's got the ramp sight. It doesn't have the serrations like the Smith & Wesson does. Don't know why. It has the same little gutter sight in the back, you know, kind of, you know, it's got a little, little bit of, root, what do you call that, checker in there. <clears throat> of course, everyone knows that the Colt shoulder rele release pulls back, which is kind of nice. I like that. The reason I like it is because when you close the cylinder, you can open it and you just drop it in there without any resistance. On the Smith & Wesson, it's different. This piece here on the Smith & Wesson rubs across here, leaves a little trail. But the uh, it's because the Smith & Wesson locks up, has a locking mechanism at the very tip of the uh, cylinder release. Ejection, I'm sorry, the ejection rod on the Smith & Wesson locks up there, so there's a little pin right here that protrudes and pushes. Whereas this one, it's just sitting there. You know, it doesn't lock up there. So, but it, it drops in real nice. Got the walnut grips, very nice, beautiful grips. A lot of times you'll see these, they'll be two colors. What happens is, you know, somebody wears a gun and one of the grips, I guess, just fades from the sun. I don't know. But you see that so much. One grip is always a lot lighter than the other one. But these are the same. Nice walnut, dark, dark brown walnut. Love it. Yeah, this is the nice little coat detective special. It's perfect size. Feels really good. It's not too heavy either. Rotates to the right. I'm sorry, but the Smith & Wesson action is better than the Colts. They say the, the Colts are refined at the factory, and after they leave the factory, they go downhill. Whereas the Smiths, the more you shoot it, the better it gets. But it sure is a nice gun. It's got the serration. It's different than the Smiths. Doesn't have the little hole there like the Smith does. It's got a smooth trigger. It's not grooved like on the Smith. This one's smooth. Sorry, it just doesn't feel as good as a Smith. Feels good, but not like the Smith. I'm sorry. It's still a nice gun. They made like four different versions of this. 
first one had a long butt down to here. It was actually like a it was a police positive. We just chopped off the barrel. And then um, second issue, they shortened the butt. They squared it off. Then the third issue, they shrouded the ejector rod. This is the third issue. And the fourth issue, they put rubber grips on there. And I don't know what else they did to it, but this is the nice one. The third issue is the nice one. That's the one everybody wants. Got a little horsey. Drop a little bit of oil down there. But anyway, this is a really nice, nice detective special. Classic Dick Tracy gun. Shrouded barrel. I'm sure it could handle plus piece. Nice, deep, nice bluing. Cult Detective Special, 38 Special, D-Frame, Square Butt. Thanks for watching and take care of your guns and they'll take care of you.